Greetings buddies! Well I've been asked by my friend Tash how to take an image like this, the doggy in the middle, okay, and use it to create a kind of wood print, okay. So I need a, kind of an image like this, a black and white uh, or grayscale kind of image that I can use to create something like this. And she was asking how could you do this in GIMP? She was having problems. Okay, so let's open uh, GIMP. There we go. And I'm just going to go file, open, and here we go on my desktop, doggy. Okay, and yeah, I'll hit the convert button. There we go. So I've got the doggy. So what we need to do is remove the doggy from the background or else we'll just get all the grass and everything. Okay, so I'm going to use, first of all, I'm going to go and create an alpha channel for this. I'm going to go layer, transparency, add alpha channel. So we've got an alpha, like a transparent background for this image. Okay, and then I need to cut it out. So I'm going to go up to here. There's a lasso tool. Okay, I'm going to do this really quickly. If I was doing it really for real life, I'd do it a little slower. But I'm just going to click and basically draw around the doggy. Just clicking on the edges, just doing lots of clicks. I'm really doing this much faster than I would do normally. So I'll try and get it better than this. Just kind of click around the edge. Okay, get the doggy's contours. There we go. Clicking away here. There we are, as you can see. All right, we'll just try to do this really quickly. And when I connect up the, okay, when I connect up to the first one I clicked, okay, you can see here over in my right hand preview window, there's the, the shape of the doggy. And I can, I like to feather the edges a little just to give it a little bit of softness on the edge. Okay, not too much, just a little bit. So I can do that over in this window here. So you see, I've got my doggy outline. Now, if I was to cut this, it will cut out the dog. Okay, because we've selected the dog. So I need to invert the selection. So when I cut it, it's going to cut out the outside. So to do that, I've got to edit, uh, select, sorry. And I go to invert. And now I can go to edit and choose cut. All right. So we've now cut the doggy out of the background. And I'm going to go back to select and invert that again. So the doggy's selected. Okay. So now our selection is back to being the dog. And I'm going to go to filters. And I'm going to go artistic. And I'll use the photocopy. The, okay. And there you go. And I can increase uh, the radius and the sharpness. And I can play about with this. I can play about with these settings until I've got a, a kind of black and white image that I'm happy with. So I can hit OK. And now I can, what I want to do is export as, and I'm going to save it uh, from this menu here. Uh, show off, uh, there we go, doggy JPEG. What I want to do is export it as a, I'll just do show all files and here we go. Uh, I'm going to just click on plus and saving folder uh, and I'm going to click on select file type I'm going to choose a PNG okay so that'll save it with the background okay it's gone to the desktop uh, I'll, I'll just uh, yep this is all fine okay X Ex export And there on my desktop, doggy PNG. There we go. We've got a transparent image with a, a black and white doggy. All right, so I hope that's been helpful.